Hey everybody, welcome back to the Single Dad Zone. So I've got a great episode for you today. We're going to be talking about something that is so important. I don't care if you're a single parent, you, um, you know, you're an intact family, you've got, you know, both parents, uh, doesn't matter who you are, this is going to be just phenomenal for you. This is going to save you a ton of time. It's going to really help you with managing uh, your email so that you don't have to worry about uh, missing important emails. It reduces stress, increases productivity, and it's so simple. So uh, I'm glad uh, I got some people here jumping on. So, you know, what, one of the things that's really important to being a single parent is, is cutting corners anywhere you can to save time because uh, it's just pure chaos. You're, if you don't manage your time, uh, things are just gonna get out of control. So, you know, back in the day, you know, you just get a little mail and you get all excited like, oh, I can't wait to open this. But now, you know, with email, we just get inundated. It's just, you know, a constant flow. We get spam. We've got, you know, all kinds of marketing coming at us. We've got, you know, some very important things hidden within those emails and some things that we really need to focus on and take care of. But it's without a system to manage, it's impossible. So that's what we're going to talk, to, talk about today. So I read this book called uh, How to Be a Productivity Ninja. So in this book, uh, one of the things it teaches you is an email system. And it's so incredibly simple. Uh, you know, I don't know why I didn't think of it myself, but uh, that's why I love to read and read as much as I can because I love to learn new things. So in this book, uh, Becoming a Productivity Ninja, one of the things it teaches you how to get your inbox to zero and keep it at zero. And that's really uh, an incredibly, incredibly great thing. Uh, when in my email box has been sitting at zero for uh, about a month or so now since I've been using the system, and it just feels so good to you know an email comes in and boom, it's gone. I either take action <clears throat> or I file it in one of the folders, and that's what I'm going to teach you today is the system. Now I'm going to be doing a post, so you'll be able to read and follow the step by step system uh, in case you know I'm talking a little too fast and you don't quite understand exactly what I'm saying so the key to the system uh, is to start out by creating folders that's the first thing so in Outlook what you would do is you go over to your inbox and you right click on your inbox and one of the options will be to uh, create a new folder and what you do is you create the new folder and uh, there are four folders that we want to create. So the very first folder, so you hit create new folder, you use the at symbol, you know, like your email, you know, Joe Schmo at, you know, yahoo.com. So the at is that symbol. So you can use that at symbol, and then the very first folder is going to be at action. So your action folder are going to be things that you have to take care of that requires an action. And if there's an email that you can just respond to in <clears throat> two minutes or less, you respond and then get rid of it, it's done. But if it's gonna take more than two minutes to take action or if it's something you need to do in the future, you're gonna put it in your action folder. The next folder we're gonna create is called the read folder. So we're gonna, again, create a new folder, use the at symbol, so at read. And you're going to move the read. Uh, so the read folder are, are important things that you're going to want to read. They're not going to require action, but it's something that you feel is important that you need to read. So, so far we have our at action and at read. So those are two folders. The next folder is at reference. So the your reference folder, these are important references. This is going to be like emergency contact list. Uh, this is going to be you know, something that you feel is really essential uh, that you're gonna need as a reference in the future. Um, we we're gonna create other folders for other things, but this reference is, these are only essential references that we just wanna keep the most important things that we wanna refer to in that file. Because the, these top four folders, the ones with the at action, uh, at read, at reference, we want to minimize what we put in those because these are things that we really uh, either want to take action on or uh, have in our back pocket. And then the final one 
is at waiting. So at waiting is a folder that we create for when we're waiting on someone else. So let's say there's something really important. Uh, you respond and say, hey Joe, uh, can you let me know when something's gonna be available? And then you're gonna put that in the wait folder because you're waiting on Joe to respond to you and you can't do anything until Joe gets back to you. So when you use that, I should have said this first, but when you use that at symbol, it, it creates your folder at the very top. So it's gonna be your very first folder. Uh, so at action will be first, at read will be second, at reference will be third, and at waiting will be fourth. So those, those are gonna be your top four folders. And you know, like I explained, each one of those has a very specific purpose and you wanna minimize their use because these are things that you are, are important, the most important, because they're up top. So the next set of folders, what we're gonna do is create numbered folders. So the numbered folders are also, there. this is where, this is the kind of the meat of the system. This is where stuff's gonna go that's not quite as important, but still, uh, you know, you wanna hold on to for some reason. So the very first one, everyone's gonna use the same one. It's gonna be the number one, graveyard so the graveyard is where uh, emails go that you've taken action on or that you think you're done with but you don't want to delete so you know you always have the option to delete an email but then you know it's gone with the graveyard you can slide the email over into the graveyard and it's kind of like an archive so you can go back and look at the graveyard occasionally I would say you know once a month you want to go into the graveyard and uh, pull out some ghosts and get rid of uh, things that you don't need anymore. So the graveyard is kind of your repo repository for emails that may have some use, but most likely you're gonna delete them some point in the future. The next folders under that, <clears throat> you don't wanna create more than 10. So the next nine, they're gonna be really personal to you. So you're gonna use different numbers for uh, work, than you would for your personal email. Uh, so for your personal email, uh, what I would recommend is put the number two, family, number three, friends, number four, news articles, number five, receipts and invoices, number six, travel, number seven, uh, kids. So it doesn't matter with the order, the numbers will um, the folders will go in whatever order you number. So, you know, whatever you put number one, that's going to be the next thing under your um, at symbol um, folders. So the no graveyard is going to be at the top. And then number two, uh, in the ex example, I had family. And what you're going to do is <clears throat> whenever you have an email, you know, it comes from mom, you can just throw it into the family email. If something comes from your brother, goes in the family email. And you can keep checking in on those um, on those folders but these these are not going to be emails that require action or you know these are something like hey I just want to save this because it came from my mom you know receipts and invoices you know you want to store those because you might need them in the future uh, travel you make a reservation on American Airlines you want to throw it in the travel one you know so you can reference it in the future so now we've got our system it's created we've got our uh, folders We've got our top four, uh, action, uh, read, reference, uh, and waiting, and then we've got our numbered ones. So now what do we do? We, got, we still got, we got some work to do. So one thing that <clears throat> is great is automating your email processing. And uh, I use Outlook, but it works with Yahoo, and it works with Gmail, uh, is to automate where your emails go. So you can set up uh, what they call rules. So uh, I explain exactly how to do it in Outlook uh, when you read the post, but what you do is you go to uh, rules and then you're gonna click on create a rule and then you can create a rule based on who it came from, uh, what's in the subject line. Uh, there's a whole bunch of options you can use to create your rule. So let's say uh, every email from your mom you want to go into your family folder. You can tell Outlook that you want every single email that comes from your mom to go into your 
family folder. Every single email that comes from you know my brother can go into my family. Every single email that comes from uh, you know my friend Aaron can go into my friend uh, folder. And it's automatic, so that you don't even have to worry about sorting them later on. They're gonna just shh, Outlook takes care of it for you. Yahoo, Gmail, that it just shh, into that folder it goes, and then you can. You, you know you have an email in there because it'll have a number next to it. So you can go and you can look, oh, yeah, look, there's a, an email from uh, my friend or family. Uh, you can do this, say, you know, any email from American Airlines psh, into the travel folder. So rules really help to expedite the sorting of your emails because Outlook and you know, Yahoo, Gmail, they can sort it for you. And that, that saves you know, even more time because you got your emails being automatically sorted. So then you come down to the big problem. So you got these all these great systems set up, you got your nice folders, but you still got your gigantic inbox that's a complete disaster. It's a mess. You got you know my I had over 5,000 emails in my inbox when I developed when I started using this system that uh it, I now put into use. So what do you do? You know, 5,000 emails. That's that's just, crazy so what you do is uh, what I did was the first thing I did was I sorted all my emails by subject uh, so in Outlook all you do is click on subject and every email is sorted by the subject uh, Yahoo uh, lets you do the same thing it's in the upper right corner you know it says by from uh, by date uh, by subject so you just click subject and all your emails are sorted by subject and what that allowed me to do is just to scroll through, you know, and I had some that were the subject, uh, I had like 50 emails about the same thing. You know, it was just going back and forth, back and forth. So it's, it's very easy if, if that <clears throat> subject is complete or you don't need those anymore, to just throw them in the delete box. Or, you know, if they're important and they have something to do with, uh, you know, travel or uh, they're something related to in some way, you know, you just put them in the folder that it needs to go into. Or if they require action, just put them up into your action folder. The next thing I did was I sorted by from, you know, and I started to look at, you know, you know, I had a whole stack of emails from uh, Best Buy. I know they're all junk. You know, I made sure there was no, uh, you know, important receipts or invoices in there, but you know, it was mostly just junk. So I just went every single email from Best Buy in the trash it went. Uh, then the next set of emails that I found were from, you know, my brother. So I just sort all those together and they go into my family folder. And this is a really quick way that you can sort through thousands of emails. I mean, it, it took me about two days to go through 5,000 emails, but you know, it's an extraordinary amount of emails. Uh, so just keep sorting by, uh, fam, by a uh, subject by from, uh, and eventually you're gonna get it down and you're gonna wanna take action on any of the emails that you can you know, respond to real quick. I found emails, unfortunately, that I hadn't responded to in like a month. I was like, oh, I missed this one. Uh, so you know, if you could just do a quick response saying, sorry, I missed your email. Uh, I, you know, I'm going through all my emails right now and here's my response. So this gives you a good opportunity to, to while you're clean, cleaning out the inbox, make sure there were no important emails that you missed. And since I've been using this system, you know, I feel like my productivity has gone up, uh, my stress level has gone down, because now I know I'm not missing anything important. Also, I have my action folder. I have, you know, I know I got references. If I've got a phone list I need, if I've got uh, something, you know, critical, I know it's gonna be in my reference. Uh, if I need to read something, I know I can just go when I got some free time into my read. And then finally, I've got, um, you know, if I'm waiting on someone to do something, I can always go back in there and say, hey, Joe, uh, I got your email from, you know, five days ago, and I'm just waiting uh, on your response. So it really, uh, you know, gives you a tremendous focus, and it's a huge time saver, a huge stress reducer. And, you know, as a single parent, again, this is a great way to cut corners and to speed up your email process. Plus you got an automated system where you've got your emails automatically going into folders and you don't have to worry about sorting them. 
So, you know, I just check every once in a while my family folder, my friends folder, you know, and those are the important emails that you're going to want to check and respond to because you're, you know, friends and family. Those are probably the ones, you know, that back in the day when you used to get something in the mail and you get all excited, like, oh, I've got a letter uh, that you don't get anymore because everything is, you know, mostly electronic these days. So this is great time saving tip and I'm hoping that you enjoyed it and it was helpful to you. And tomorrow we're going to do workout Wednesday. I'm working on a workout. Hopefully uh, I can get the camera angle and everything so that uh, we can all work out together tomorrow. Uh, I'm shooting for 830 and we'll work out for about 20 minutes. So be ready. Uh, be in your workout gear and we're going to go for it. I'll see you all soon.